received this paper approximately one year ago and it's a handmade paper from a company called Panar and they also sent me a bunch of other stuff but specifically I was really interested with this paper, this medium which is great for oil, for acrylic, for watercolor so I was extremely excited to use it and I always thought well I should do something really splendor so such a great medium but that thought right there really made me afraid from using it because I set myself kind of a big goal which if I don't achieve well I will just waste the paper so now instead of that I will just make a quick practice sessions of oil painting for a project that I have to make somewhere in the near future and as I will make four of them first I have to mix a lot of colors As soon as I started I realized that this paper is great for acrylics, watercolors, but for oils, well, not so much. It could be used for oils, but first it have to be primed, otherwise all the paint get absorbed really quick and you have to apply more pigment than usually, but I thought it's not such a big problem and I will just go with it. hard to recognize what I'm painting at this point by just these splashes of colors or maybe you're getting that it is something galaxy related but more defining answer would be a cloud of gas and dust in outer space or otherwise called a nebula. I have a request to make one on a canvas but the customer wanted me to make four examples of how I could execute something like this and it felt like a wise idea to get more used to this sci-fi galaxy views and landscapes by making these quick raw artworks that will serve me as a practice studies before starting the big project. them side by side it's really satisfying it gets you in the whole theme of galaxy stars and so on and turns out that not being primed and absorbing the paint really fast it's actually really helpful because you can start to work on the details almost immediately the paint is kind of a, almost dry but not exactly so you can work wet on wet with toils but at the same time have that acrylic drying time which is great time for the fine details I feel more free to initiate such a practice studies and not put too much pressure on myself of how everything is going to look but rather to just enjoy the process and take it easy and accept that all of this is a learnable process with enough space for imperfections and if you want any progress whatsoever not only in painting but whatever niche it is really important to find the right balance between delivering something good that you have tried your best to execute and at the same time to deliver something on a regular basis 
and I believe that these two really go hand by hand and they depend on each other, like the more consistent you are, the better things you create and the better things you create, the greater your desire to create is. And see, I know this very well, but still I have struggle with consistency. But these sketches and quick painting sessions definitely help with it and also help with crafting my skills and actually to get better in painting, which make me want to create even more and more. And honestly, it feels so nice to be productive and as you can see I'm starting to be more consistent and also with these videos, which is something I have always wanted to improve and it feels like this year is gonna be the year. And yeah, for sure I'm digging the vibe of how these four artworks are happening, especially with not finishing the corners and leaving it untouched. It's really complementing the roundness of the handmade paper and the idea of casual quick paintings. Also I have an idea to make live streams of such painting sessions, maybe one video every week and I, I think it would be a good stimulation for me to make more painting studies and at the same time it might be interesting for some of you as I have read some comments that you want slower videos of the painting process. Probably I will make these live streams on my Patreon page, so write down in the comments if you're gonna be interested in something like this. That was it for today. I'm loving these quick sessions. Really liked how it turned out. I can't wait to actually make it on a big canvas. It won't be either one of these, but it will be kind of a combined of the four of them or just something different, but for sure it was a great practice session. But most of all, I hope you have enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you're new to this channel and want to see more of these videos, as always, Thank you for watching, it's highly appreciated and I will see you next week.